Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Something New. Today we're playing Shovel Knight, a fantastic retro-styled platformer in this sort of imitation of the old NES-style games, which is a genre that I never really got a chance to play much when I was a kid, because the first console I ever had was an N64, but either way, this is a pretty fantastic production from Yacht Club, Club Games. I've had a lot of fun with it and what I've played of it so far. We're going to jump in and start a new adventure here, so before anything else happens, let's just get a doing that. So, Shovel Knight here, Vanguard, we just created this new profile. It has uh, the starting health of four orbs, we have no money, we have no playtime, we have uh, 30 uses of magical items, we have no music notes collected, and we have the basic armor and the basic shovel. Let us start our new game. Here we go. We'll be starting with a new profile, let's see what happens. Here begins our story. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving shield Shovel Knight, rather, went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Bow, 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 bow. So here we are. Get diggin'. We're the Shield Knight, this diminutive blue-clad man in armor. Battles his way through dirt with most ease. And bugs. Bugs don't stand in, a way in his way either. Our abilities are fairly limited to begin with. We can shovel with our shovel. We can jump and pogo stick with our shovel if there are enemies beneath us. Can't pogo stick just on the ground, though. Simply on top of our foes, like so. We can also flip them if we hit them with the shovel. And bounce them around multiple times if we feel the need. There are plenty of things to find in this adventure, though. Mostly money. Money is everywhere. Hidden within blocks that we can destroy. Hidden within enemies. Hidden within secret walls and all throughout the land. Money itself is not particularly immediately useful, but it can, of course, be used to buy power-ups later on, which are absolutely crucial to our ability to make our way through the quest in the long run. There are, of course, achievements for not using any of them, but still, you can easily get away with using them to your heart's content. We've also noticed there are potion bottles to be found around the maps. Finding these potion bottles allows you to replenish some of your magic ability if you've used your items. There's our first checkpoint, or so I believe. Checkpoints are pretty handy in that they allow you to respawn there rather than the beginning of the level if you are killed. However, in later areas they can also be destroyed for money if you want to try and really get that risk-reward situation going on. However, I feel that the reward is not really that great for most of them. So we're probably not going to be destroying them and making do without. Of course, this game also has mini-bosses, and our first mini-boss, this little dragon here, is, unfortunately for him, not particularly strong. We're able to easily dispatch him, acquire the treasure he hides, and move on. Can I hit you with your own head there, skeleton? There we go! Oh, I should have pinged it back again. Like that! <laughs> Tennis him with his own head. But, there we go, we can do all kinds of things with our surroundings, they're not simply limited to attacking directly. And this area here shows us one of the most important things about this entire game, really. This is a secret, destructible block, and you can tell because right in the middle of it, it has that weird X shape. That is one of the key indicators. Often hidden blocks have different tiles than the rest of the ground, but not all of them, as this one clearly shows. And some of them can have enemies inside, so we have to be a little bit careful what we're doing when we're looking for secrets. So, that is a good thing to know because it will come in very useful all throughout our adventure. Finding secrets will allow us to be much more powerful and that will require much more money. Here is one right here to begin with. So, testing our knowledge, we were able to easily find this secret. There's an ore there on the wall we can acquire as well, which gives us even more money. 
digging up these piles also gives us more money. And music notes! This is the first music note that we've collected on our adventure thus far, but it won't be the last. The music notes are a valuable addition to our equipment because we can turn them in later to acquire a good amount of money, and we can then also play the music notes later with a jukebox-like system. So, let us continue onwards. There's plenty more to find where this came from. I don't expect we'll be doing this too much with no damage, but we'll do our best here to get through smoothly. There we go, acquire some more loot. And hidden gems in the walls are also always good. I'm not too worried about getting damaged though, because this game is filled with ways for you to replenish your life. As we can see there, there is a serving dish in the middle of this pile of sand. And if we are to search inside, we will find another staple of old-style games, which is the invaluable Dungeon Chicken. Picking up a Dungeon Chicken fully regenerates your health, as far as I can tell, and it is pretty darn valuable. Let us work our way through these enemies and find whatever else we can discover in our quest here. There we go, get some more loot and move onwards. Now, this game has a lot of secrets in it, so it, does, it will not surprise me if I miss a bunch of them, but I will be doing my best to find as many of them as I can for you guys. So, here we are. Another easy to find secret, hop across these bubbles. Sometimes these waterfall backgrounds can make landing on the bubbles kind of difficult because they are pretty hard to see against that background, but we should be able to manage. Now that little gem we just need to jump over like that to grab. If you actually aim to do a full jump, it makes it a lot harder. But here we are again, back where we were, so let's move on. Our dashing little Shovel Knight here has plenty of ground to cover before he can reach his goals. So, what is in this secret tunnel? More loots and an enemy! We will have to be careful about that. In the future there will be more and more of those hidden enemies hiding away to try and trick us. But, for now... Ah, oh, there's a bit of damage we didn't need. Nothing too unexpected. Gather ourselves some more loot and a carrot to regenerate the health we've lost. Chests are fun too. When you examine them, you sort of throw all the money you have to find the best piece of treasure, and then you can go back and grab the rest. Okay. Now I'm fairly certain we just need to keep going up this way now. Fantabulous. Grab ourselves another checkpoint and move on. Now these dragons here might be a bit tricky. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Might be a bit tricky for us to actually kill. I'm trying to hit him with one of those, and I missed again. If you hit them twice to kill them is the problem. There we go, there's a nice easy kill. I believe there's another right here who'll be coming at us. Ah, oh, missed him. Oh well. Alright, if we move on here, we should be able to make our way towards the first boss in this game, which will be an interesting encounter for us. It is a little bit of distance to that though yet, as we have only just now found our second mini-boss. Another orange dragon. Now this guy is a bit of a pain in the butt, but we were able to kill him in just the right spot so his loot didn't all go off the edge. If the dragon is fully forward when you kill him, almost all of his money will fall to its doom down in that pit, which is always disappointing. Let's keep going, though. There's plenty more to get where that came from. Goodbye, skeleton. Evidently, enemies are also damaged by falling in pits, as that shows us. Alright. So, gather up some more loots. You can also cancel a... Uh, uh, pogo bounce there by attacking with your shovel. So that allows us to not break our way all the way down here, otherwise you keep bouncing automatically. There are lots of slimes over here, but they won't stand up against our might. There we are. And what's in this secret area? Another large gem. Fantastic. Some more dirt to dig through. If only riches were so easy to acquire in the real world. <laughs> Alright. Let's head across this way and find ourselves some more fabulous treasure. There's a lot of loot to acquire if you have the skill and the exploratory sense to find it. Some of it is quite simple to acquire and others have much greater risk and reward associated. The thing about this game is that while it has a life system, it does not have a lives system. If you die while playing Shovel Knight, you are respawned at a checkpoint with no penalty other than losing a portion of your gold. So if you wish to acquire as much money as possible, you need to recover the gold sacks that fly up into the air from your corpse. Sometimes they can be in positions which make this quite difficult, but otherwise it can be a fairly reasonable task. And we've made it! 
to the boss, the boss battle at the end of the tutorial stage. So let's bring it on. Why, hello there. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. And here we are, the Black Knight, the first boss in this game. Can we beat this without making a fool of ourselves? I sure hope so. So, just like us, he has a number, whoop, a number of health points equal to double the spheres he's got there, as each one takes two hits for him, whoop, you laughing jerk, I will shoot you with your own projectiles, whoop, my timing is really bad at those, <laughs> see what I mean? Not very good at not getting hit by those attacks, but we still have half our health left and he has less than half of his, so we're still in a good spot here. Still in a good spot here, and we should be able to take him out pretty soon. He's only got a little bit of health left. What are you doing there, Shovel Knight? Here he comes. And there we go. Shovel Knight? I mean, Dark Black Knight. Fantastic. Thousand gold reward. We've defeated the Black Knight, but only temporarily. Off you are, Black Knight. Whew, okay. That's our first major battle dealt with. Fantastic. So, here we are. Time for a lovely campfire before we move on from this place. And in our dreams, Shield Knight falls. And we must catch her. No, Shield Knight! Why did you spawn so far away? We got her. Just barely. <laughs> Just barely. All right. We're able to catch our love. And then, after a night of tumul tumultuous sleep, we awaken. We put out our fires. And we leave this place. For now. All right. So we succeeded in the plains. Fantastic. Now the world map is open to us, and we can travel around and see all manner of things. First things first, though, we're going to the village. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around! Oh, ha <laughs> ha! That's no weapon, just a shovel! You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone! And you really can talk to all these people. Bag fellow, turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone! What do you have to say? <laughs> Get a real weapon! What do you have to say? Fishing's easy. You just cast your line off into any pit and then wait for the exclamation marks and haul them up. Got a dear lady here too. I remember before the Order of No Quarter when we weren't afraid to walk around like this. Got a knight here too, and it's the same guy as before. But this guy is an important NPC, unlike most of the people in town here, at least walking around. Hail, traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lies scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa! You have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Sure thing. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should have studied composition, but then I suppose I'd be the one with the rival. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Just ask. Fantastic. So this bard here, we talk to him. Hail, Shovel Knight, hero of music. What can the humble bard do for you today? He can play us some music. So we can come in here and pick songs from the list that we've discovered. There's a whole lot of them. And then we'll be able to get him to play them in town here for us. But this time, we're just going to pass. So, this area is pretty important in town. Here we have the astronomer. Barnage and poultry, mutton and meat, your maximum health will increase if you eat. 
Bring a meal ticket, I'll whip up a feast. Gotician might have some. Oh, where's that sly beast? Talks in rhyme, fantastic. And we have the mage over here. Magicist, in fact. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes. Of course, uh, I can increase your maximum magic, good? Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can't... Ah, oh, you have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. So, they allow us to increase our magic capacity. He allows us to increase our health capacity and the gotician here. Ah, decisions, decisions! Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Sure. I'll buy a meal ticket for a thousand gold. I might come back here and buy more later as more health is always good. At least eight is on papers. Fantastic. But there's always more to be done here. So let's grab ourselves our first meal. A meal ticket. Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. Oh, the rhymes. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and pardon the mess. Lovely. I do apologize as well if voices sort of cross over and I forget who does what, but I'm going to do my best. And I don't know what that is. It looks like a plate full of rocks, but we'll eat it and it'll increase our life anyway. So let's head downstairs because there's some more important things down here for us to find as well. Have some more people to talk to. The Juice Maid. Ah, a new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, and goats. Everyone's welcome in here. And who are you? The Dancer. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. And what do you have to say, sir? The deposed king. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing. Not to rule but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pridemo's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. All right. We also have a witch over there who we're not going to talk to because she just tells you all of your stats, basically, for the game. We can come over here, though. Find a secret in the wall. Bling. Another music sheet, fantastic. We have a friendly frog here. Hey, Shovel Knight. I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. <laughs> oh, the puns. What else do you have to say there, friend? <laughs> that King Knight. You give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler. Oh, <laughs> the puns. One more. I traveled with some horse adventurers, but they're all so negative. Oh, the puns. All right, who are you? The Tropal Acolyte. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Tropal King. Who? You've never heard of the Tropal King? Half trout and half, half apple. Pronounced like mouthful. Troutful. King. He's one of the forest gods. Here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Tropal King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Tropal chalices to believers. Would you like one? I would indeed. I'll buy two. One Tropal chalice. And, in fact, two Tropal chalices. Chalices? Very useful items indeed. A vessel for storing mythical ichor, but well to find it. Well, he just told us. That's a good first step. And here's another person. Chester. Psst. Hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I got for you today. Why not have a look? Yeah, sure. We have a fishing rod and a chaos sphere. Both of these are nice. We're probably going to pick up both of them before we leave. We'll start by grabbing the fishing rod. We can chuck it into a pit and wait for a bite. Fantastic. So, we're looking for sparkling fishing spots, and we can use this to get extra treasure, or perhaps refill our trumpled chalices on the go. But for now, we're just going to move on and see what else we can find in this town. This town has a whole lot of stuff in it. So we'll explore it now uh, fully, and then we can come back and get what we need later. By digging through this wall, we can find a little mini-game as well. Hey there, Mona. <sighs> I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need a hundred gold first. Sure. All right, I'll conjure up some things, and you can hit them towards the targets for points, okay? And the minigame commences. So, this is a pretty straightforward shoot the targets minigame. If we can hit the top target, everything we hit is worth ten points. It is two on the side targets. My aim is not very good, though, apparently. That was better. And one on the bottom target. That was an atrocious miss. 
I make no claims to skill here, but I will try and do as best as I can. At least get some points out of these things. Ah, no, 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 no. Not good at all. Is it three points for the middle score? I thought it was fewer than that. I want to make sure we hit these explody ones, because you can get a lot more out of them. Unfortunately, our score is not looking too good just so far. Oh, don't want to miss that. And now we're getting into the crazy part where everything goes mad. Nope. All the misses. So many misses. <laughs> that was terrible. 181. Ugh. You got 181 points. <sighs> well, kind of me impressed. Eh, we got the reward anyway. 246 gold and another music sheet. Normally, I think my record is something like 200 and... More than 250? I don't remember, but 181 is pretty darn bad. We'll take it, though. We got the reward, so let's move on. You can play that game again to try and beat your score, but for now, we'll just leave and collect some more loots. We can bounce on this girl's hoop if we want and sort of hop around like a jerk. Not that it has any real effect on anything, but you can do it. We can also dig up this pile of dirt, but first we should talk to this hedgehog, I think. Hedge farmer. Are you really THE Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt! Look <laughs> how happy he is. Wow! Incredible! You really are Shovel Knight! Indeed I am. Indeed I am. Wow, Mr. Knight! Nice stick! Come on, let's play! You left your loop, loop go away. <laughs> Runs off after it. Now, this woman is pretty important to us here. The water carrier. Whew, these buckets are heavy. Indeed they are, but they'll be useful to me in a second. Get over here. What do you have to say? You know those glass checkpoints? You can break them for treasure. But if you do, they stop being checkpoints. And we can jump on her back to get up on top of here and acquire some more loots. What's in this treasure chest? More treasure, of course. And there's also another music sheet. Fantastic. So let's take this back and cash in at the bard, because we have three more sheets of music, which will get us another 1,500 gold, which is nothing to be scoffed at. And then we can go get ourselves the Chaos Sphere. All right. Hello there, bard. Whoa! You have three music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each. Sure thing. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the local happenstance. Last week, I was barred from the juice bar. <laughs> what are you, some kind of bartender? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Just ask. Fantastic. All right. There's another weird thing about this this town. Uh, I didn't notice this earlier. I didn't mention this earlier, rather. But all these signs, if you hit them, they drop potion bottles. I don't really know why, but they do. And you can hit them a bunch of times. They drop a big one. They don't drop anything else. Not really what that's for, but it's there. So... Good to keep in mind. Let's go back down and grab that Chaos Sphere from Chester, as it is one of my favorite use items. So let's head over here and grab that. Psst! Hey, bull guy! You wouldn't believe the merchandise I got for you today! Why not have a look? Sure! I have a Chaos Sphere, an orb of boundless combat potential. Done and done. Here's just 500 gold, but that's fine. We can use this to throw. So it bounces around and hits enemies as it hits. It's pretty sweet. I believe it speeds up when it hits walls, so you can get a good, pretty good bounce backwards as well. With only 500 gold, we don't have enough to spend on anything else, though, so we're just going to move on. That's some interesting physics with that orb right there. That's a ring. Hula hoop, whatever it is. Let's leave town and head out into the great unknown. So, now that we're back in the world here, there's a couple places we can go. We can go to Pridemore Keep and fight King Knight, who is probably the easiest of the bosses. Or we can go to the Lich Yard, Lair of Spectre Knight. Most people go to Pridemore Keep first because it is pretty easy. I think we're going to go to the Lich Yard first, though, just for the extra challenge of it. But, on the other hand, we're also going to go to the Trouple Pond first to give ourselves some power-ups on the way. Alright, here we are. The Trouple Pond. Truthful Pond. Hello there, Truthful King. The Truthful King. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? I do, in fact, need aid. I sound the Truthful Chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced ichor. Indeed it is. Choose your ichor wisely. We have three options. We can get the Icor of Renewal, which reveals, fills all health and magic, the Icor of Boldness, which makes you invincible for 10 seconds, or the Icor of Fortune, which gets you any nearby treasure sucked right into your body for 60 seconds. I personally like the Icor of Renewal, so we're taking two of those. Very well, mortal. What of your second chalice? Another one of those, thank you. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. 
The ceremony shall commence. And now for this, there are no words. Let us simply watch. <laughs> I mean, I mean really. <laughs> what do you even say to this? Such symmetry. So dense. Wow. It truly is a performance for the ages. And we are granted our mythical Icor. Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. He did sound a little bit like Shovel Knight's voice there, but like I said, sometimes voices are going to overlap a little bit. But anyway. Alright. We can't progress further until we defeat the knights who created these gates, so we are going to begin our adventure shortly. However... For now, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing through Shovel Knight. If you have enjoyed this adventure, hopefully let me know about it in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, bye bye